Hi folks, it's Tracy, and today I'm going to show you how to take just a regular soap dispenser bottle from a commercially bought soap. I have already taken the label off of this one, and what we're going to do is we're going to decoupage it and make it beautiful, and then you don't have to buy one of those expensive, fancy ones. You can just buy your favorite soap and keep refilling the same container with one of the large refillable um, ones that you can buy. So, you're going to need a soap container. I am using one of our newest decoupage papers. It's a nice floral kind of paisley pattern. You're going to need a brush. This is a decoupage brush. And we're using the Aqua Pro Decapatch brand varnish. And then I always just keep a little glass of water so I can put my brush in there when I'm pausing from uh, using it just so it doesn't get all crusted up and dried out. It's also good to have some paper towels around. And I usually use a piece of cardboard or just something you won't, you don't care about messing up to do your project on. Um, a little uh, there's a few tips just for prepping your bottle. Uh, a lot of times they're going to have stickers on them. If it's a more papery sticker, I usually just soak them in warm soapy water. So just regular dish detergent, warm water, really the warmest comes out of your tap. Soak it for a little while and it should just kind of rub right off. Um, this particular bottle had one of those really plasticky stickers on it that was hard to peel off. And I'm going to give a shout out to my husband for this one because he's been saving bottles for brewing. And he discovered the best way to get those kind of labels off without making a mess is to put really hot water in the bottle and let it sit for a few minutes. And the heat will loosen up the glue. And then you can peel it off and you could even rub the glue off. But you just put the warm inside instead of soaking it. So that is all ready to go, and if you've watched any of the Decapatch projects before, they're really simple. You're just going to open up your glue, maybe, there we go. And you're just also going to tear little pieces of your paper, and we're going to be overlapping them. You're also going to want to pull, just take the little pump piece out and set it aside. You don't want to decoupage all the way up to the, um, the part where it screws on, but this way you can get all the way up to the base of it. And then when you put it on, the bottom will cover your edge. But we're going to just cover the whole thing. We're going to do the bottom as well. But you're going to tear little pieces at a time. Paint a little of your varnish on there. Stick your piece down. And then you're going to paint over top. It's really, really easy. It's actually a great kids project, too. How fun would it be for your kids to make all the soap dispensers for your house, all the bathrooms and the kitchen? And then they can say they made it, and it'll still look really cute, too. So basically, I'm just going to keep doing this process till I've got it covered. I just wanted to show you guys I've been working on it for a little while now, and I'm just kind of working my way around. I'm going to save the bottom for last because it's going to have to dry differently. Um, you don't want to leave it sitting. So I, I did all the way around and as you start doing the curvy parts and each soap dispenser bottle is going to be different but like this one in particular is curvy near the top you might want to keep your pieces a little smaller like this one's almost too big. I'm going to tear it in half here. Because when they're smaller they'll make the curves a little better. So stick it down. 
you just don't want to have to have a big fold be in your paper. So I'm going to finish all the way up to the rim on the top and let it dry completely and then I'll do the bottom so that I can turn it upside down while that's drying. So I've done what I said. I've worked all the way up to the mouth of the dispenser. I haven't done the bottom yet. And now that I've got it covered, I'm working on doing... This varnish is not completely waterproof, but it's very water resistant. We found that the um, it holds up really well, even with the, the, the dispenser getting wet a lot. So I'm going to go back over now that I have these placed and give it a good coat all over. And then I'm just going to set this down and I'm going to let that dry completely. Um, it's really only going to take like maybe half an hour. This stuff sets up pretty fast. And then we can come back and finish the bottom. All right, so it's been it's been over 30 minutes now. This has completely dried. And see I came all the way up to the base of the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish with the bottom. And depending on the bottle, like this one, I'm going to be able to balance after it's done. But you may want to put a stick in it and stick it in some styrofoam to let it dry. Depending on the shape of your bottle. So I'm going to continue in the same way I did the rest of the project. Like I said, when you're going over curvy bits, you may want to use smaller pieces just so you don't get any weird folds. And just work all the way across and we're going to treat it the same way. Get it all covered and then do a nice layer over top and we're going to let it dry. Okay, so I finished covering the bottom as well. I'm just going to leave it here to dry. I did a good layer. I even covered a little bit more with some more of the varnish. And now that you're done, um, and even before when you were letting stuff dry, make sure you're putting your lid on your varnish. And while I was letting it dry before, I kept my brush in the water. Now that I'm done, I want to go wash my brush really well with... Um, soapy water because what's going to happen is it your varnish will dry in there crusty and your brush will be trashed so if you are good and keep your brushes clean they'll last for a long time and pretty much once this is dry it's going to be ready to go so we're going to let this dry again for another half an hour or so and then I'll show you the finished product okay so I've let this guy completely dry and I'm really pleased with how it came out. So it's ready for soap and the lid. And when you are purchasing soap, you may want to keep in mind that the lid color is going to be hard to change. So in this case, the lid was black and it happens to go really well with the pattern I picked. A lot of times they'll have white or clear as well if you want something a little more neutral. But that's all there is to it. It looks fancy and professional, but it just was your $3 bottle of soap.